Welcome back to Get Down 17, presented by DraftKings. Round two, Ariola versus Kim. The first round, fun to watch. How do you have this one so far, Rob? That was a tough round to score. Really was a glorified jiu-jitsu match with a ton of sweeps. I'm gonna have to give it to Ariola. Threw up a couple submissions and it looked like he finished around a little bit stronger there to begin. From throwing submissions to throwing hands, he was throwing some punches and bunches early. Takedown attempt here by Kim. Hard press gonna try and pull those legs in, bring those hips and take them to the ground. Ariel holding on for dear life. He's been going for that side headlock all night. My wrestling background would say, uh, I'd like to see a little suplex action here. <laughs> and Ariel has gotta be a little bit careful here. He has the head, but he can easily give up the back. And we might see Kim here try to pop up and take the back. If he could just continue to punch his right arm up, he'll have back position. But here comes the inexperience factor we talked about earlier on in the fight. Well, to your point, Kim had him had Ariola in danger in that first round. Could not finish and cinch in that rear naked choke. Ariola has gone for the guillotine several times to no avail as well. That one well. looks a little tight if he could clasp his hands together. The only issue there, Todd, he continually goes for the guillotine, but now he's on the bottom. If Kim gets his head out, he might be able to rain down some ground and pound. Had that figure four body lock, though, and it's straightening the legs to apply more pressure. But you're right, it looks like Kim's got that head tucked and able to avoid it. And how much does that take out of Ariola? And, and you see it all the time in fights. Fighters going for that guillotine choke really just saps all the energy out of it, out of you. It de really depends how much Ariola put into that. Real feverish pace in the first round. Looks like both fighters have lost quite a bit of starch as Ariola going up top again. Arm bar. He's got the arm, Todd. Just gotta find a way to extend his hips, but looks like Kim might walk himself into a triangle. Oh man, talk about out of the fi frying pan, into the fire, and he taps, puts him away with the triangle. If the first one don't get you, the second one will. Wow, with only five seconds left in the round, you gotta wonder if Kim could have held on there for another five seconds and made it to round three. I think Kim was pretty gassed in his debut. I mean, he was laying it all out there, and he knew he was trapped, he knew he was in trouble, and maybe his first time in the cage, maybe he wasn't aware of what time was left as we take a look back at the action in our instant replay. As we see here, Ariola throwing his legs up, was consistently comfortable off his back, going for that guillotine position, landing on his back, and now we see why those long legs, as we see here him extending the arm almost Finishing with the arm bar, Kim did a good job by stepping around, but right here we see the triangle being cinched in and pulling down on the head is what really made the difference and got the tap for Ariola. Stuck in the proverbial quicksand, the more you struggle, the deeper you get. That was the case here. Ariola picks up another victory. When we return, we'll recap this first fight one more time for you, and we will make it official as Get Down 17, presented by DraftKings, rages on. <laughs> 